Okay, so now we're ready to, the arms are attached. They haven't been baked as yet, but um, the bottom of the doll has been baked, so we're going to move on to the next section where I'm going to show you how to do the diaper. So I'm going to take a little piece of white clay. This is Super Sculpey 3. Okay, and I'm just going to cut a little triangle. tiny little triangle and let's put a little glue on here liquid sculpy glue okay we're just going to put the little white piece here and we still want the little belly button to show so just smooth it around this area here. Okay, and we're going to have a slightly bigger triangle for the back. And again, we're going to put a little bit of the liquid Sculpey on here. Okay, and then you're just going to smooth it on. And then for the sides, you're just going to use teeny little sort of coils or little strips to just fill in the area from the front to the back. And then you're just going to smooth it on and sort of shape it, just like a diaper. And if there's too much, you just take a little bit of it off. Okay. Okay, that's one that's ready. And I'm not going to bore you by doing a whole other one, but this one I made up a little pink clay. So I'm going to make a little pink diaper for this little baby off camera. And then I'm going to put these um, back into the oven and then um, bake them for their final time. And that's going to be according to the manufacturer's instructions. So whatever polymer clay you're using, you follow the directions. Mine are going to go in for about 30 minutes at uh, 260 degrees, 265, I have to check the box, and then I'll allow them to cool and then we'll learn how to do the hair. And here they are, ready, they're fully baked and they're ready to be painted and wigged. Okay, and now we're getting ready to uh, paint on some blush on the little dolls. So this is a painting tray. I'll tell you what I have here. It's just a big jug of water for the paintbrushes. I have some paper towels. These are just small liner brushes. I have a couple of larger brushes so I can mix the paint with them. Uh, this is black acrylic paint. We won't be using this this time, but that's good to have on hand. A little bit of brown, red, white. This is faux glazing medium. This is an additive that makes the paint uh, translucent so that you can see through it. It makes it um, uh, sort of inky also. If you can't find this particular brand, then you can find anything that makes the turns acrylics into a faux glaze or translucent color. This is blending gel that I put on the dolls so that uh, if I make any mistakes, I can quick wipe off the paint. 
that's good to have. And if you can't find the faux glazing medium, this is a color float. It's a water conditioner, but it also um, thins out the paint a little bit. And here's a gel stain medium. This, uh, tran uh, this transforms acrylic paint into a gel stain, so that would be on par with the faux glazing medium. Okay, so here's the little dolls. They're ready to be painted. And what I'm going to do is show you very quickly how to um, mix up a little blushing color, because that's all we're going to do on a doll this small, especially since the eyes are closed. So we're going to start with a drop of a couple of different colors. This is red and white. And brown. Okay, and I'll put out a little bit of the faux glazing medium. Okay, and then taking one of the larger brushes, I'm just going to mix up a nice blush color. That's a pretty good color there. Want it on the pinkish side because they're little babies. And then I'm just going to mix in the faux glazing medium, and that's going to make it more like an inky consistency. Okay. Now I'm going to take one of the tiniest uh, paint brushes. This is a small liner brush. I've cut this down to just a few bristles. And I'll take some of the blending gel here. Okay. And where's the little... Oh, here they are. Okay. So we'll start with this little guy. So I'm just going to put some blending gel on the baby's face and her arms. And just like in my other videos, I'm going to just put a little bit of blush in the creases. I'm just going to have to kind of dictate what I'm doing because I know this doll is so, so tiny that you can't really see. My other dolls that I demonstrate on the, on the DVDs, they're much bigger so you can see it. But this I'm just planning to upload to YouTube. And then you just sort of blend it in with a blending brush. And then I'm just putting a little bit of blush, a little bit more, on the mouth. You don't want the baby to look like she has on lipstick, but you do want it to be a little bit reddish. And inside the ears, and you could put on just a teeny little bit on the cheeks. Okay, and if you, if you feel the doll getting a little bit dry, then you can just reapply the blending gel. Going around the top of the diaper and inside the belly button and on top of the little belly. And when I'm blending it in, I'm just trying to take off any edges from the paint. 
Okay, and the same thing on the back. On the legs, you're going to put the blush in the creases and between the toes and around the diaper. And you can put it in the knee creases and a little bit on the side of the the chubbiest section of the of the legs. Okay, so that one's done. I'm going to do the other one off camera, and then when we come back, we'll do the wig.